So today we have got Joanna and Derek on the show. Hiya guys, how are you? Fine, how are you? Great, thanks. Good. Are you excited to be on the show? I've not had two people at the same time, so I don't know how this is going to go. So it's a first for us and it's a first for you. Yeah, so there you go. So if it is a train crash, we all suffer. Um, so the aim of the game is you get 10 minutes to talk about your business. And when I press start, we go straight into a conversation. When the alarm goes off, that's it. How does that sound? Bye. Good stuff. Right. Your timer has started. So first of all, one of you, why don't you tell us a little bit about Northwood, what you, what you are, what you do? Okay. Northwood Will is a franchise. Yeah. <laughs> Joanna and I opened 11 years ago. Uh, based in Heswell, and we have a franchise that covers the whole of the world. Uh, okay. Northwood has a unique offering called Guaranteed Rent, which is what attracts us to the business, um, which is something that no other litigation has to offer. Hmm. How long have you been doing that for? We've been doing the Guaranteed Rent ever since we opened, because that's the jewel in our crown. And that's what makes us different to all, the, all, all of the letting agents. Well, why, why is it that only you do that? Is there, a, is there a specific reason why you've offered to do that where it's not mainstream? Northwood, Northwood have developed a process where we become the property owner's tenant and we yeah. then sublet whoever lives in the property. Other letting agents offer what they call is guaranteed rent but it's actually rent guarantee insurance which is very which is a very different proposition and, and in our experience a lot of letting agents don't really understand the concept of what our guaranteed rent service actually is all about and we have found that some agents have tried to copy it but because they don't understand it they've just failed at it that's quite good really that you've done that i, I mean that must be a bit of a how do you sleep at night? Because that must be quite a scary thing, really. Uh, yeah, particularly at, particularly at the moment with the COVID situation, but we are very careful about the properties we take on, the quality of the properties, and we're equally very careful about the tenants that we choose as well. So, yes, we manage the risk on a case-by-case -case basis, but when you've got a portfolio of several hundred properties, the risk is spread across the whole portfolio. Yeah. So in terms of obviously your vetting and your process of elimination, how, how does that all work? Well, we, we start asking tenants questions before they view a property. You know, what's the reason for the move? Who's been living in the property? Uh, are they working? Do they have pets, etc.? When it comes to the formal referencing, we do detailed financial referencing, uh, credit checks, landlord checks, mortgage checks, uh, employment checks. But we also carry out social media checks as well, which gives us insights into tenants' real background and, and lifestyle. I was going to say, I mean, I don't think I'd ever get a property based on my social media yeah. outlet. But to be fair, I mean, I'm very cautious of what I put out there now. But I can imagine, do, do, does a lot, do a lot of people do those kind of checks? Are, they, are you quite thorough in that process? We have to be thorough because, because of the guaranteed rent service, we're financially on the hook. So it's in our interest. So we treat everybody the same. We don't know if other people go into the same depths as we do, mm. but we take it really seriously what we do because obviously we've got, we're serving that, that's the service that we're offering to all of our landlords. And how has that guaranteed rent worked, obviously with the current uh, climate, with the way the world is at the moment? I mean, I suppose there's been a lot of, I don't want to say sleepless nights again, I don't want that getting stuck in your head, but... I can imagine it's been probably more stressful for you guys because of obviously, you know, the, what you offer. To a degree. I mean, we have put a lot of focus with the team working with us on making sure that they collect the rents on the days that it's due and really stay on top of any areas that are there. But we've also tried to, to communicate with our tenants right from the outset so that they're aware of what their responsibilities are. And so far to date, our arrears have been well within uh, acceptable manageable levels. And the, I think the most important thing that we've worked really hard on is the communication with our tenants because mm. the government didn't do us any favours by saying it was a rent holiday. So it was about explaining that right from the outset, what that meant, and trying to encourage people, regardless of their situation, to stay on top of their rents. Obviously, we've had to take their situations into account and be reasonable and understanding because it's been difficult for everybody.
Mm. Yeah, and, and it has, hasn't it? And it's it's something that I think nobody ever saw coming. And it's something that it's a generation that will, well, there's multiple generations that are going through it, but it's something that's going to stick with people going through it for a very long time. So, you know, if, if, if you can come out of uh, this pandemic and still carry on, then that just goes to show really the structure that you have in place, the system that you've adapted and, and, and created goes to show that, you know, you, that, that can only be a good thing for you. Uh, and also the people that will want to move into the properties that, that you own. Yeah, you're right. right. And more importantly, landlords will recognize that we paid their rent throughout the whole of this crisis and they haven't had to worry about their income, whether it's coming in or not. Mm. Yeah, I, I can imagine that there's been a lot of uh, hard situations for, for, for other landlords and tenants uh, at such a, a such a bad time um how do you think you know moving forward the world is going to change after this i think the way that we work on a day-to-day -day basis will probably change for good mm -hmm. i think there is now an acceptance that number some of the team perhaps working from home on a semi-permanent basis is probably going to be the way forward and we've certainly tried to embrace technology wherever we can um particularly in the early days to try and reduce face-to-face um, -face personal contact so you know buying a 360 camera so that we can do virtual viewings has, has significantly helped uh, ease that situation and I'm sure there are other technological advances you know around the corner that we're going to be able to take advantage of as well. I think the great thing for you guys is the fact that you know it's very visual um you know I remember at the beginning of the pandemic you did you went round with the smartphone and you showed the the, the rooms and stuff and you know it was about you know, not kind of crumbling in a moment of, you know, of, of despair and actually go, no, we can do this. How can we actually still show our, our, our places off? How can we still get people to confidently contact us and, and keep the ball rolling of, 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 you know, people moving about? Obviously now we're, we're, we're a couple of weeks into this now, life is kind of becoming a somewhat normal. Uh, have you seen business return in recent weeks? One of the things that we had to do when it first started was to adapt very, very quickly. So yeah. we had to change our processes, as Derek's already said. Mm. And those processes will last for a long time. And that we've definitely seen that there is an appetite out there from people, from people wanting to move, whether it be renting or selling and so you know you have to adapt your process because we want people to stay safe but yeah. the world has to keep on turning it, yeah and it does doesn't it you, we can't just sit at home watching netflix all the time because it's it, you know i think i've watched everything on netflix now um i'm waiting for the new stuff to come on uh, but you're right it's a case of you just got to adapt and i think the great thing uh with with people with the mindset of carrying on uh, it's just you adapt, you learn, you grow, you take on board new technologies. Um, and, you know, for, for this pandem pandemic to happen in, in, in a time when we are quite good with technology, we have the likes of Facebook and other social media platforms, it's actually easier to carry on and work remotely and actually work from home and embrace technology. Have you found that transition hard or have you been doing that well before the pandemic hit? I don't think it's, a, it's been that hard a transition for us. Uh, it, it probably comes as a bit of a shock to some of the teams. And obviously, uh, getting customers used to the idea that face-to-face -face contact is not always a, the, the first option that's available to them. But, you know, you asked earlier about activity levels. We've certainly seen a surge in interest in all our properties that are available. And we've seen a surge in, in interest in people looking to rent their properties out, as well as sell properties. So you know, we've, we've been able to adapt to meet those requirements and, and you know, that's what we're looking to do moving forward is to continue to help people both find a property but also um, rent one or, or sell one. And also as a business, I think if you're not willing to adapt, um, you have to evolve, don't you? And if you're not yeah. willing to do that, then, you know, your business isn't going to survive. So, and that's what we've done. We've taken the bull by the ones and we've run with it and made sure the business carries on being successful you really do separate people don't you when you when you look at the pandemic and you see obviously you know people have either embraced change or they've just you've not heard from them in weeks uh, uh in recent weeks um 
you've opened up, um, you know, Northwood again. How's that been? Well, we, the government allowed the property market to restart in England um, in, in mid-May. And we opened up as, as soon as we practically could. We had to do a detailed risk assessment uh, to make sure that we could keep the, the, the staff safe as well as any members of the public. So we, are, we have reopened the office. We have a, a rotating skeleton staff to keep the, the two metre social distance. And up till now, uh, the office is oh. closed to the public. Uh, there you go, timer. That's it, that's your timer, you're done. I've got to cut you off, Eric. <laughs> that's probably... <laughs> That's probably the first and last time I'll ever be able to cut you off <laughs> in the <this laughs> conversation. <laughs> Honestly, Derek, if you just want to, if you just want to finish that off, um, please do. Um, well, I think, as I say, that the office is, is, is open but closed to the general public apart from appointments. Uh, and, you know, the staff have embraced all the issues we've replaced and, and, and it's worked well. And they're working brilliantly. They're working very hard. Good. Well, I wish you both all the success uh, and I have no doubt that you'll, you'll get through this unscathed uh, to some respects. Have you enjoyed being on the show? Yeah, it's been good fun. Thank you very much. Good. It's been great. And I, and I will always be uh, apologetic, Derek, for, for interrupting your mid-conversation. Uh, I think <laughs> that will be something that will stick with me for a very long time. Uh, well, <laughs> thank you very much for coming on the show, and I wish you all the best. If, you, if anybody would like to watch any previous episodes, you can head over to Take The Cake Productions own YouTube page which is youtube.com forward slash take the cake pro if you'd like to see all the latest episodes don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon